There's an obvious reason the elderly become a target. Solo seniors sometimes have obese bank accounts. The less obvious reason has to do with the dark side of focusing on the positive all the time. As you age, you also become more trusting, or better to say, more gullible. We even think we know why. There's an area of the brain called the insula, a slightly hidden clot of neurons just above your ears. You can think of it as an ability to know when you're being taken for a ride detector. Like so many brain regions, the insula has many other subfunctions, ranging from assessing risks to reacting to betrayals to feeling disgusted. It even helps forecast whether a given action is going to be safe. As you age, the anterior insula, the front area nearest your eyes, becomes less reactive to potentially untrustworthy, even threatening situations. Scientists can show the effects of this decline in many ways, including the capacity to detect untrustworthiness in people's faces or in fake British lovers. Here's a true example of how sad this not-so-good news can be. A widowed 74-year-old physician from Southern California found the loneliness excruciating. He eventually signed up for a dating website. The good doctor quickly found an anesthetic in the form of a 40-year-old British divorcee. She was broke, with a daughter in college, and in a few weeks they were cyber buddies, and weeks after that, long-distance lovers, the digital equivalent of a winter-summer relationship. You probably already smell a rat, and we might wish the doctor had too. The woman contacted him in a panic one day. Her daughter had been killed in a car wreck. She didn't have the money to pay for the funeral, nor for her daughter's student loans, and could he wire her $45,000 to cover the costs because she just didn't know where to turn? He sent her the funds, which, of course, opened up a spigot of other requests. A fortnight later, it was $10,000 for a new roof, $75,000 for a new Mercedes. Yeah, Mercedes. And finally, a first-class ticket from London so she could meet the love of her life at LAX and thank him in person. Sadly, he granted every financial request. The woman never showed up at the airport, though he had ready the limousine, crystal champagne, flowers, and a room at the Four Seasons. The doctor never heard from her again. This stuff happens all the time to the elderly. Figures are hard to come by, but MetLife estimates the elderly get bilked out of nearly $3 billion every year. Men and women are equally vulnerable, and successful Beverly Hills families' doctors are not immune. It's proof that older people should be less concerned about running out of life than running out of money.